I'm the old bat. <laughs> What up, yos? So, uh, Santa Claus, oops, I'm not looking in the camera. Santa Claus came and visited on Easter Sunday, and we even had snow during that time of year, which is highly unusual. Uh, so this is all about uh, what I got from Santa. I think I need a facelift. Hey, everybody. So check out what I got all for free. My uh, One of my subscribers, who happens to be my boss's uncle, sent everything over here this uh, Easter weekend. A bazillion VW magazines. Uh, I have a bunch upstairs. There's some more over here on my workbench. Let's go over there and check the what's out over here. So I am so thankful, Dale, that you did all this. It's very nice of you. Okay, so here's the contents of one baggie. It, it kind of looks like, I don't know what these things are. So if somebody knows what these are, uh, off the top of your head, I would love to know what I'm doing with all this stuff. I'm sure, Dale, you'd probably know. So, um, but it's obviously uh, for a sensing of something. And it looks like exhaust stuff, but I, don't, I really don't know. So, uh, I will research it if I don't get an answer from anybody out there. Uh, we'll see. And there's this little handy junction thing. Uh, yeah, I don't know. And this little gad thing. This is all in one baggie. So, I'm just going to keep it together and figure out what it is. Here's another bag of stuff. I think this has to do with the um, the sump, the oil sump. But, because, you know, they use these crush washers, these copper crush washers, and there are these things. So, maybe it has something to do with this. They fit in these uh, holes here, but it seems to me... I don't know how to put this in. I, I easily can research that, but uh, this is at uh, your uh, Expando oil sump expando thingy. It's not called that, but this is, like I said, this is to make it so you can add more oil to your car, which then theoretically is supposed to make it run cooler. Um, so anyway, if anybody knows what these are for, that's what I think they're for, but let me know. This will be mystery bag number two. Forgot. It also has this thing in it. So it's it's tapered at the end. It was definitely manufactured that way. Maybe this is some kind of tool to install it all? I don't know. So I'd like to know what this is for. I got four new bags of uh, oil changing. You know, this is, goes around the um, sump like that. And these are the, the, all the stuff you need when you change your oil and remove the strainer and all that jazz. Um, so that is lovely. That's from Mid-America Motor Works. Gasket set, oil strainer. So, thank you. Also, he sent all these uh, gaskets and it's for a, it says on the baggie, 66 beetle seal. So I don't think I'm gonna need any of these, but you never know. If anyone knows, let me know. Then he gave me this, and I believe this goes in the engine. When you separate this, the case, there's this little place where you have to plop in. I think it's at the end of the crankshaft, or maybe it's the drive shaft, or the, is that the there's a, two shafts in there. But And I think this goes on the end. And some people put this side face out, and some people put this side face out. I think that's what this is, so I'd love to hear confirmation on that. And your opinion, should it go face this out or should I face that out? If this is what I think it is. I got these two. And those look like an adapter to go from a, a smaller diameter to a larger diameter or something. 
These caps look like the kind that you use on your oil drain area. So, and then there's a telltale copper washer or a crush washer there. So I'm thinking this has to do with my oil stuff. So let me know if I'm wrong about that. Then these things, uh, I first thought they might be push rod tube um, washers or gaskets or whatever you call them, <laughs> seals. Um, but I, I think they might go to the oil cooler that goes on the engine. So, and they're different sizes. I think there's kits that you can get that have different sizes for different types of oil coolers. So, love to know if I'm right about that there. Okay, then I got a little bag of all this stuff. This looks like exhaust stuff to me. Uh, but I have a dual port, and I believe this is not for a dual port because they have usually two holes, but maybe you're wrong. And then these are awesome looking. Look at how cool that is. I don't know what they're for. So I'd love to know that. <clears throat> that castle nuts, I, these, I know those are on um, the suspension and the steering stuff, I think. I know I, they're all on the uh, tie rods, I believe, is where I saw these, maybe other places in that area. And then this is what I think is a push rod tube washer, but not sure. And so this all came in one bag, another castle nut. All right, and another kind of gasket of some sort, or I'm not sure. So anyway, if anyone has any idea of what this is. Okay, then I got this bag of stuff. That looks like dual port exhaust gaskets, but let me know if I'm wrong. These also look like exhaust things that you connect the exhaust on. Um, these are for the drum brakes, the springs that you stick in there, I think. Let me know if I'm wrong about that. This is obviously a spark plug. Looks like the kind that goes from the distributor cap to the wherever the other end goes. And I have no idea what this is. Some kind of plug. And this is just a piece of, that's probably just garbage. I'll throw that away. And then these are sort of interesting. I've never seen these before. Where do these go? All right. Okay, and then I got a little baggie with these things in it. Three bolts with washers. And they have, it looks like a self-tapping sort of thing on the end. So I'm not sure what uh, those go to, so if you have an idea, let me know. All right, then here's a little baggie with just this stuff in it. Uh, this is a thick washer. And then a two thinner washers and then this nut which kind of looks like the nut uh, for the case but I don't know for sure if it is I'm gonna replace all that anyway but if I should keep this stuff let me know let's check out what was in the tool bag okay so we have this tool my first thought was it's for the the, the rims but it has this rubber gasket in there so that makes me think it has spark plugs that you do something with spark plugs but i don't know and then this rod here i assume doesn't yeah it does fit in there to get leverage and then uh, so anyway so i think that is maybe for the, i don't know so let me know i i don't i don't have one of these in my little kit that came with my super so but with this rubber thing that makes me think it's has to do spark plugs, but who knows? And then this is definitely for the wheels, the lugs on the on the wheels. This hole, so you you know put something in there to get leverage. And then look at this thing. This is cool. This is like a combo hammer, lug wrench, maybe some kind of pry bar of some sort. I have no idea what you'd use this for, but it is cool looking. And let's see, it has A4 on it. Let's see what's on the other side. And here we go, some more info. AE310, that's the start of an engine block number, isn't it? 
And I'm just pinning on this side, I believe. Yep. Cool. I mean, it's just cool looking, so I'm happy about that. It has this bend in it. Is that supposed to be there, or is that because someone really wrenched down on it? Who knows? And then lineman pliers, I know that about. This is another little uh, bolt tool, uh, but I'm not sure what you what bolt. So if anyone knows that, it's lovely. And then this handy little um, spanner wrench. We have a 13 on one end, I believe. Yep, and an 8 on the other. So I'm sure I'll figure out what that's for when I get digging into the engine. Um, or maybe the other parts of this thing. Flathead screwdriver. It says made in Germany. So that's pretty cool. And here's that um, hubcap tool. So you remove hubcaps of this thing. I'm really happy to have the uh, the right tool for that. I thought my little idea with the uh, pegboard part worked well, but this is what you're supposed to have. So I'm happy I have that. Here's a little tool bag. It just looks like seat material made into a bag, which is super cool. So I'll have to clean that up. All right. All right, so we have this Speedo. It's not for my year. I have a 71 Super. Uh, but I'm finding a lot of stuff for 66 uh, beetles. So I have a feeling this clock, I know this doesn't go to mine, but this clock, I think, definitely goes into an older beetle, but, uh, or even probably other VWs of the day. Uh, but I'm not sure, and I'm sure I can easily figure it out by looking at the part number, which has to be on here somewhere. Mm -hmm. Genuine VW, that's what I'm talking about. So, it's very nice. Love to have these things. Who knows, maybe this is a message from the universe that I should get a 66 for my next project. Cool, huh? Let's look at this, the number for this. Where is it? ADO in Germany. It looks like it's in nice shape. Glass or plastic or whatever it is here. It looks like a little crack in there. Yeah, there's a little crack right there. Right there. No, but it is probably, what, 60 years old or something? That's how old I am. I'd have a crack in me. I do. I do have cracks in me. So, all right. And then this is definitely not, uh, this is older for sure. This goes in uh, this fuel gauge, obviously. It's kind of busted up. But I bet you anything, all this stuff is for a 66. Am I right? Because we have these bearings. These are for a 66. Six sixty-eight, and these things, which are from a very well-respected company, Wolfsburg West, sixty-six sixty-eight. Another little thingy, e-brake cable for a seventy-nine bug. So I'll keep that aside. And down is I get something I can use, but you never know. And then another one of these seals. So it looks like maybe these horns are for a 66 as well. There's an info on the back that we can use. There's lots of info. So I can look that up and find out if this is my year or what. My horn works, so I don't really need this, but you know, it's always cool. Parts are cool. I like having a stash of parts, it makes me happy. Here's another one, a Spartan, made in the USA. So this looks like it's just a horn from any old American car, but we'll find out. Oh, it's from VW, it says right there. Audi, I bet it's for Audis or something. I'll see how it sounds. I like the old bug, the ones uh, that I have, because it's, uh, you know, nostalgic. All right, that's it for this part. 
I actually have this one, believe it or not, this tool, but this is a, another, um, this is for the VW Clutch Spline Tool, or I'm not sure exactly what this tool is for, but it has to do with when I rebuild my, my engine. All right, next up we have this distributor cap. There's the part number. Looks like it's brand new. And it's from Germany, it says on there. Doesn't look like it goes with my bug, but pretty cool. I have a brand new distributor cap from back in the day. That's the number on there. So I'll look into this and see if this is something I should pay attention to. I'm gonna set it aside for right now. And I got this nice set of push rod tubes. They look brand new, which is so awesome. Um, I don't see anything stamped on them, so I'm not sure uh, if they'll fit mine, but I can just compare when I rebuild my engine. Seam upward. That's how you put them in there. So they face up. I think that has to do with leaking. Um, but so that's cool. Got a carb rebuild kit. Not sure what year it's for, but I can easily figure that out. And it looks like what I used to be my carb. I rebuilt my carb already. But let's see. That's the part, and it's from Empty. So I'll have to check that out. Gaskets. Got a nice brand new mirror, round mirror. Doesn't go for my car. I have the little oval sort of shaped ones, but nice. Let's see, what does that say? Passenger side, probably. Cool looking. Yeah, I like it. Hey, maybe I'll stick it on my bike, not motorcycle, like bicycle. I'm just kidding. So, coolie. Okay, let's check out this radio. Might need a little refurb action. Connect it and see if it works. Okay, let's check out numbers now. Definitely not for an older bug, right? They didn't have these nice radios back then. And then it says here, Volkswagen distributors in the U.S. I'm sure it has to do with the AM, FM, and stations and business like that. Oh, yeah, blah, 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 right here. <laughs> okay. I mean, talk about simple, right? <laughs> Nowadays radios don't look this simple. I love the simple. Simple is good. So, uh, not sure this will fit in my dash. And, you know, I'll see if my radio works once I clean it up and do it. But it sure didn't sound like it worked when I tested it out. But that could have been the speakers, right? This seems like it's not on right because it just flies around. Let's see about this side. This one's connected, doing something. That cool, it's a sapphire. What is that? Uh, X1X 1110. I don't know what that is. That Roman numerals? I first, I don't, I don't know my Roman numerals, but anyway, buttons seem to work. I think if I remember right, you pull them out to set them. Yeah, there you go. Back in my day, we had this station called KOME. And you, it, they said it, it, it's the cum spot on your radio. Do you think they could say that nowadays? I don't think so. <laughs> it was classic rock, of course. Rear view mirror. There I am. What up, yo? Mine is in good shape, so I, I doubt I'm going to need this, but I'm keeping it, because you never know. That's a little thing for people with the brights on behind you. Handy. And then I have a couple of rotors. And a set of points. 
They look used because you can see the corrosion there. Oh, focus. So, but every, I think points is something people say you should keep in your little bag of tricks in your Volkswagen. You should have all a bunch of spare parts and things because, you know, you just don't want to be stuck someplace. It's not like you can get this stuff at the, you know, local auto shop or auto supply store. So I'm going to look into this more and see, let's see if there's any numbers on it somewhere. Don't see any for that symbol there. Let's see if I can get that in. Come on, focus. Looks like a mushroom. Awesome. All right, then I have this rig here we got for um, testing your bug or any en engine, uh, probably not any, but air-cooled engines. When they're not in the car, excuse me. So I know what to do with this. Look, it even comes with its own little ignition. Isn't that cute? What's it say? Florida. Florida. I don't have my glasses on. I can't read it. But anyway, cool. So I'm definitely going to be putting this to use. And this little fuel filter there. All right. All right, then these window um, rubbers, and they're for, it'll fit my Volkswagen, according to the label. Uh, I believe it's from West Coast Auto. Let's see. See, it goes from a 65 to a 77 quarter window, and it is from West Coast Metric. I think it'd be West Coast Motor, but whatever. Anyway, so I have the uh, two rear quarters, and this is, um, I mean, the, yeah, you know, the side quarter windows, and then this is for the, uh, the rear window. And this is for, let's see, what's it say? It's, uh, quarter window glass to frame. Maybe this goes around the quarter windows. I thought this was for that little flip window thingy, but cool. It fits my car, so that's beautiful. All right, then I got these hubcaps. Some have dents, but you know, mine have some major dents in them. There's a little dent there. So I think between the ones that came on my car and these, which these are identical to the ones that came on my car, between all eight of these suckers, there's a dent right there. I'll be able to have a set of nice hubcaps. I think this little dent right there. This one feels perfect. Just needs to be cleaned up. Polished up a little bit. So very nice. These are original German hubcaps. Love it. Thank <laughs> you.